We were very pleased to see Canada become a state party to the arms trade treaty last year. But accession to this important regime is not tantamount to increase rigor and transparency around the arms trade. Effective treaty implementation is key. And as indicated in our report, Canada regrettably finds itself in non-compliance with its obligations under the treaty. Canada must immediately revoke export permits to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. This is something the government of Canada absolutely can do. To be clear, Canada not only has solid legal grounds for canceling these exports, but the absolute sovereign prerogative to do so. It has whitewashed violent security crackdowns by the Saudi regime in which scores of civilians have been killed and in which Canadian equipment has been employed. It has not followed through uh, on the credible links between the state of Saudi Arabia and the assassination of Jamal Khashoggi. It has done all of this while claiming to be a beacon for human rights, feminism, and a rules-based international order, and while claiming strict adherence to the arms trade treaty. We are convinced that canceling arms sales to Saudi Arabia while generating predictable pushback in some sectors is now the only defensible course of action for Canada. Each day that Canada continues arms exports to Saudi Arabia, its arms control and humanitarian credentials continue to crumble. Canada has shown that it can do the right thing when its weapons exports are found to be contravening its legal obligations under the arms trade treaty most recently by suspending certain arms exports to Turkey when presented with evidence. It remains to be seen if Canada will afford the same treatment to those bearing the brunt of violence in Yemen, a conflict directly fueled by the provision of these weapons to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Thank you.